In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, God's good people. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Sunday, the 2nd of July, 2023. It is the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the second book of the Kings, chapter 4, verses 8 to 11 and verses 14 to 16. One day, Elisha went on to Shunem, where a wealthy woman lived, who urged him to eat some food. So whenever he passed that way, he would turn in there to eat food. And she said to her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is a holy man of God, who is continually passing our way. Let us make a small roof chamber with walls, and put there for him a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp, so that whenever he comes to us, he can go in there. One day, he came there, and he turned into the chamber and rested there. And he said to Gehazi, his servant, What is to be done for her? Gehazi answered, Well, she has no son, and her husband is old. Gehazi answered, And when he had called her, she stood in the doorway, and Elisha said, At this season, when the time comes round, you shall embrace a son. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 89. The response to the psalm is, I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. The second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 6, verses 3 to 4 and verses 8 to 11. Brethren, all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 10, verses 37 to 42. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. He who receives a prophet because he is a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he who receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives to one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple Truly, I say to you, he shall not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord 
Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is God's true servants are carriers of your blessings from God. Be kind to them to receive those blessings. God's true servants are carriers of your blessings from God. Be kind to them to receive those blessings. Dearly beloved, while growing up, I was very used to seeing my parents prepare food and take to the priests. In fact, it was a tradition in my home, even now. No priest came to the parish who was not invited to our home to share a meal. Even if they did not come, my parents prepared the food and sent it to them. But not only food, those priests were sure as well to receive money for fuel or telephone credit. It was not because my parents had much, no. They just knew it was their duty to care for priests, religious and God's true servants. They had left everything to follow Christ. Any priest or religious who encountered my parents was sure of a good treat and a worthy welcome. The priests and religious had no farm, no business. They had left their own families and all they could do in order to serve God. For this reason, therefore, coming and caring for them and providing for them was to make them know that they had a family and were at home, even away from home. Besides, my parents knew that welcoming priests and religious and God's true servants was welcoming Christ and it gave them blessings. Who knows, and certainly I am quite sure, me being a priest today is one of the many blessings they have received from God for welcoming his servants. And not only me, my family is blessed with two priests. In the gospel story we just listened to a while ago, Jesus says, whoever welcomes a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Whoever welcomes a righteous person because he is a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. Whoever gives a cup of cold water, even to one of these little ones, because he is a disciple, will certainly not lose his reward. Now, these are the words of Christ. He promises that whoever welcomes a servant of his in his name will go with many blessings. Because whoever welcomes a prophet of Christ in Christ's name welcomes Christ. And whoever welcomes Christ welcomes God. So the blessings that you give to Christ's servants, you give to Christ. And imagine you blessing Christ. He blesses you even a hundredfold. There is a reward and a blessing when you welcome Christ's true servants and give them a cup of water in his name. Not just any servant, but Christ's true servants. Now let us ask ourselves today, do you welcome and receive Christ's true servants? Do you welcome and receive Christ in his messengers? Do you give them a cup of cold water in his name? These days, it is very hard to find people who do charity to God's servants. They rather ask God's servants to give them. And I begin to wonder, where do you expect them to take it from? There are still, however, some very many persons who never forget to welcome, receive and give a cup of cold water to God's servants. I tell you, from the power of our mouth and because of the ministry that has been entrusted to us by Christ, we say it to you and declare that you will certainly not lose your reward. May God bless and reward a hundredfold all of you who welcome, receive and give us a cup of water in Christ's name. We find this in today's first reading. A woman from Shunem welcomed and received the prophet Elisha, urging him to eat some food at her home. Together with her husband, they even went ahead and made a little accommodation for him for a rest house so that whenever he passed that way, he could rest. 
as a reward. The prophet Elisha prayed to God for her and she was blessed with the gift of a son. Truly, God's servants are bearers of blessings from God to you. If you are kind to them, you will tap and claim those blessings. Imagine that this woman from Shunem had not welcomed the prophet Elisha and even provided for him. Would she have had such a blessing? <laughs> so you see. You may say she was rich and had the money. How many rich people who have even much more receive and welcome Christ's servants? It is about kindness and having the initiative and being ready to welcome and share even your little. Remember Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 18. He saw three persons passing by. He did not know them. It was his initiative to welcome them to his home. It was out of his kindness that he offered them water and some food. And what happened at the end? Hey, he did not know. Those were servants of God and they left with a blessing, the gift of a son, Isaac. Dear God's good people, the blessing you are looking for from God is very near to you. If only you had the foresight and if only you were kind enough. But because we have blocked our eyes from seeing with wickedness, greed, stinginess and envy, we miss out on our blessings from God. Your own Elisha stands in front of you. Your own servant from God stands in front of you or passes by you every day with blessings from God to you. Do you welcome them so that you can claim those blessings? Let us pray to God today and always that we may have eyes like the woman of Shunem so that we may not see God's servants pass by and fail to tap our blessings from them when we are kind and generous to them. God is always ready to bless us and he has blessings for us provided we are kind enough and have the foresight to tap. Let us beg God for that grace today and always. Your blessings from God are always near to you if only you are kind enough to tap and receive them. Happy Sunday and God bless you. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.